Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. My name is Karen bowden and I serve as Associate Pastor at First Lutheran Church in Onalaska, Wisconsin, and this is my morning musing. So today when I sat down to do um, my devotion this morning, uh, I chose not to do it out of this book because if you've noticed, our devotional book doesn't have something necessarily for every day. Um, and depending on how you do it, whether you do um, artwork one day and then reflect on the artist statement the second day or do them both together, um, there's days that you don't necessarily have a devotion to read. But if you got the Lenten box, you have these lovely cards. Um, and so I chose this morning to pick a card. I pick them at random. Um, and the one that I picked today was very fascinating. And so it's, um, it has a statement here and then a scripture text. So setting your mind, uh, Mark 8, 31 through 33. This is actually a text that we'll be reading um, in a couple of weeks, I believe. And it is the story in Mark of Jesus rebuking Peter. So Jesus starts talking about how he will need to die. Um, and Peter's like, this is not good PR. We're on a roll here. Things are going really well. You're really popular. You really shouldn't start talking about how you need to die. Um, and uh, Jesus looks at Peter and says, get me behind me, Satan, for your mind is not on the right things, something like that. So um, I picked up this card and I read the scripture and my first thought was, oh, this is, this is coming up in the lectionary. Um, am I preaching on it? I don't know. Uh, but it's not just reading and thinking about setting your mind. So of course my mind has started to churn, but on the back of the cards are is a, a prompt or a question and then a prayer. And the question um, is what conversations are hard to hear? So I began to think about conversations that are hard to hear. Um, I find conversations that challenge me and my own sense of self hard to hear or conversations that challenge me because I haven't quite done what I need to do, like are somewhat of a, well, at least feel to me as a critique. Um, I can't say that that's what the other person is doing. That's what happens in me. Those are hard to hear. And of course, Peter has his mind set on different things than Jesus, kind of in the moment, how are we gonna do this, has no idea the bigger picture and what's going on. So the question, um, what conversations are hard for you to hear? Um, it was hard for Peter to hear about Jesus dying. And, um, well, let me share the second part of this. Uh, so what conversations are hard to hear and then lean into active listening today. Today just happens to be the day um, that our roster leaders and our synods, so all the pastors and deacons, gather together for learning. We do this every year, typically in April, but we're doing it in February because that's what the speaker, um, that worked with the speaker's schedule. And we're talking about anti-racism. And I thought, hmm, that is a conversation that's hard for me to hear because I know that I have a lot of work to do yet in this, um, in this area. And so I just thought that the spirit was up to something today. I don't know what it is, friends, um, but I will need to be actively listening, which means setting aside all the jumble in your head to listen to what the person is saying and then to, to actively check in every once in a while to make sure that what you're hearing is what they're saying. I do this training, I teach this to all sorts of people. Um, all the time and so I'm really curious as to what um, I will hear today and I also know that my mind is in about 50 different places right now I'm feeling really scattered this week and so 
the spirit, I think, is saying to me, be present in this conversation that is sometimes difficult and listen well. I will let you know what happens probably next Tuesday. Um, but then also on this card is a prayer. So I'm going to pray this prayer with you. Um, I hope you make use of these cards. We still have a few more left, a few more sets left. If you would like to have one, you can just give Tamara a call. Um, but let's pray. Holy God, how often am I Peter? How often do I set my mind on human things as opposed to what you would have me think of? Help me shift my gaze to see the bigger picture, to see you, to see my neighbor. Forgive me for the times when I get caught up in my own sight lines. Amen. Beloveds, be well, be kind. Christ is with you.